What do you mean you don't know where he is? The son of a bitch is a hit, goddammit! Over 2,000 phone calls! Go down to the mailroom. As of this minute, over 14,000 telegrams. The response is sensational. Herb, tell him. Max, Herb's phone hasn't stopped ringing. Every goddamn affiliate from Albuquerque to Sandusky, the response is sensational. Yes. All right. You, Herb, get back to your office. Moldanian called me. Joe Donnelly called me. We got a goddamn hit, goddammit. Diner showing the Times. We even got an editorial in the holy goddamn New York Times. A call to morality. I don't know where he is. That crazy son of a bitch Beale has caught on. So don't tell me you don't know where he is. He should be jumping off a roof for all I know. The man is insane. He's not responsible for himself. He needs care and treatment. And all you grave robbers think about is that he's... I hit. You know, Max, it's just possible that he isn't insane. That he is, in fact, imbued with some special spirit. My God, I'm supposed to be the romantic. You're supposed to be the hard-bitten realist. All right. Howard Beale obviously fills a void. The audience out there obviously wants a prophet, even a manufactured one, even if he's as mad as Moses. By tomorrow, he'll have a 50 share, maybe even a 60. Howard Beale is processed instant God, and right now, it looks like he may just go over bigger than Mary Tyler Moore. I am not putting Howard back on the air. It's not your show anymore, Max. It's mine. I gave it the show, Schumacher. I'm putting the network news show under programming. Uh, Mr. Ruddy has had a mild heart attack and is not taking calls. In his absence, I'm making all network decisions, including one I've been wanting to make a long time. You're fired. I want you out of this building by noon. I'll call the security guards and have you thrown out if you're still here. Well, let's say fuck you, Hackett. You want me out of here, you're gonna have to drag me out kicking and screaming and the whole news division kicking and screaming with me. You think they're gonna quit their jobs for you? Not in this recession, buddy. When he gets back, he'll have your ass. I got a hit, Schumacher, and Ruddy doesn't count anymore. He was hoping I'd follow my face with this Beale show, but I didn't. It's a big, fat, big, pitted hit, and I don't have to waffle around with Ruddy anymore. If he wants to take me up before the CCA board, let him. Do you think Ruddy is stupid enough to go to the CCA board and say, I'm picking on one hit show off the air? And comes November 14, I'm going to be standing up there at the annual CCA management review meeting, and I'm going to announce projected earnings for this network for the first time in five years. And believe me, Mr. Jensen's going to be sitting there rocking back and forth in his little chair, and he's going to say, that's very good, Frank. Keep it up. So don't have any illusions about who's running this network from now on. You're fired. I want you out of your office before noon, or I'll have you thrown out. You go along with this? Max, I told you I didn't want a network hassle on this. I told you I'd much rather work the Beale show out just between the two of us. Well, let's just say, fuck you too, honey. Howard Beale may be my best friend. I'll go to court. I'll put him in a hospital before I'll let you exploit him like a carnival freak. You get your psychiatrist, I'll get mine. I'm going to spread this whole reeking business in every newspaper, on every network, group, and affiliate in this country. I'm going to make a lot of noise about this. Great. We need all the press we can get. Something going on between you and Schumacher? Not anymore. 